another day without a cyber dragon deck profile. You're really dramatic, you know that? I think I might just have to make one myself. <laughs> for cyber dragons, you'll find the real infinity gauntlet, but for me, you'll do the bare minimum. Duh, now that I know that the infinity cards actually work? Use the glove for a new cyber dragon deck and see what happens. Nothing happened. Because it is done. And you said I were over dramatic. video real quick this is not going to be an in real life deck profile I'm still waiting for nasters from uh, Germany from till those gonna be really cool you know I have some German nasters and stuff but I'm still getting a deck list together because as soon as I get a deck list together guys I could send that off to one up TCG and they will send me the cards and there will be an in real life deck profile but until then I have to get an actual deck list I have to get a solid deck list that I cannot put down if I don't have a whole list together and I just say hey send me this now send me this now send me this eventually they're gonna stop talking to me so we're not gonna do that. Speaking of 1UP TCG though, 1UP TCG is the official card sponsor of the second coming of Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus. If you guys want 10% off of cards, all you have to do is go to 1UPTCG.com. The website is down in the description. Um, I think it's at checkout. You enter in the code NONO2020 and you get 10% off cards. That's it, that's it. And speaking of getting a discount on cards, you guys, you guys, I have a surprise for you. I might have to turn off the green screen for this because there's some green, but the newest sponsor of Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus, the newest sponsor of Yu-Gi No No is Metamats! They were my sponsor. Yeah, I can turn this around now. Yes, Metamats. <laughs> but yes, guys, Metamats is sponsoring me again, and they are sponsoring this mat giveaway. I'm going to be giving you guys this Cyber Dragon Edition Meta Mat. Yes, black back, just beautiful, beautiful mat. Um, I've had this for a little bit. All you have to do to enter in to win that mat is be in the United States. I know I would love to give them away outside of the country, but they charge an arm, a leg, a left nut. I like those limbs, I like my left nut, otherwise I would send outside of the country, but for this, let's just keep it United States only, guys, and, and, and to enter and to win, okay? All you have to do is reply to the Twitter post. That's it! That's it, all you have to do is reply to the Twitter, like this video, that is all, and then I'll do it the same way I did last time, you know, last time I, uh, you know, last time I was around and did Matt giveaways, um, of course, um, I just, uh, had you guys comment on the Facebook post, and I'll just pick a random comment, you know, and then message you, and then get your address, we'll do the same thing with Twitter this time, uh, you know, all you have to do is reply, um, I'll pick a random comment, you know, before the next video, um, and, you know, to announce the winner, maybe the video after next to announce the winner, um, I'll DM you, get your address, and I'll send it your way. So literally the same way I used to do it, we're doing it all over again. And if you guys want 10% off of Yu-Gi-Oh mats, oh yes, oh yes, I got you 10% off of mats as well. It is Yu-Gi Jesus. Enter in the code Yu-Gi Jesus and you guys get 10% off at metamats.com. No catch, no nothing guys, I got you 10% off cards, I got you 10% off mats. Now getting into this deck profile guys, I'm gonna show you right now what I started with. I started with, you know, I don't know, I combined it, like I looked up, you know, the top Cyber Dragon decks that, you know, I've been doing okay and topped or, you know, whatever, and I was like, hey, here's what they're playing, here's the hand tries to play a lot, yada yada yada. Um, don't ask me, but through the course of my playing and testing, I went from this to this. <laughs> it's, it's insane. I didn't even think it was gonna be that good. 
like, I mean, it, it is. Like, I built, like, oh my gosh, okay, I built two versions of the deck. One of them's not as good, but makes Zoken more consistently, but Zoka going into Crystal Wing is just, mwah. and, but, this version, guys, just, it link climbs, it link climbs, and the goal of this deck is to see your machine duplication more often. If you guys haven't figured out by looking at it and playing the second Dread and just how this deck is shaped already, you want to see that machine duplication, because as I've talked about in Cyber Dragons for a very, very, very long time, machine duplication on core is the best combo in the deck. I have said this in combo video after combo video after combo video. If you guys watch my Cyber Dragon deck profiles, where at the end of the video, you know, I show you guys how to do the combos, where I show you guys, you know, how to how to play the deck and stuff like that. I used to do that at the end of those deck profiles. If you watch those combos, and in, the, in, in some of those, I'll force my hand and show you guys what you could do with the deck. If you notice in all of those, I had machine duplication in like all of them, because machine duplication is like the best card. You want to play three of it. You want to machine dupe on core. Core is a plus one, Machine Dupe's the plus, Machine Dupe gets two Cyber Dragons out, that's your rank five plays, that's just, it enables, it gets the deck going, it just, it just combos so well. Except in this case, that doesn't get the deck going. In this case, that's actually what you finish with. You dig for your Machine Duplications in this deck, you Link Climb, you play a lot of special summonable monsters in this deck to Link Climb, and then search for your, um, you know, go into Skull Dread and like draw into your Machine Duplication and combo that way, plus Skull Dread lets you get another special summon from your hand never forget that guys so this deck let me just start from the beginning here and explain card by card why I built this monstrosity and why um, I think I built the best cyber dragon deck for going first or second and that's something that getting back into cyber dragons guys Look, the decks always had this problem. It cannot go first. It cannot go first. With the new support, they didn't fix that. It still cannot go first very well, okay? It, it just can't. So once again, I set out to make Cyber Dragons crazy because I couldn't just come back and show you guys just any Cyber Dragon deck. I had to come back and show you guys just something insane, and I had to show you guys something that could go first because... Playing on playing and testing, it was driving me nuts losing the die roll, so I had to make something just nuts, something that could link climb, something that could go second and go into Boral Sword or something, and this is what I came up with. So without any further ado, let's start talking about this card by card. First up, Cyber Dragon. Duh, except not really duh, because Three of this clogs, like, you don't care if you open this thing up going second because it's Cyber Dragon, but going first, this card is dead. It is dead, except that a lot of times you do want it, want it in the graveyard off a Galaxy Soldier or something like that, but, but save those uh, scenarios, it's pretty dead. You don't want to open it. You just, you just don't. Like, the thing is, uh, you want to machine dupe for two of them and then hurts for the third one. That's what you want to do with this deck. If you play it, you'll understand, and I'm just going to show replays and everything. I probably already have showed replays to, of course, you know, further explain that and stuff, but yeah, uh, three Cyber Dragon because you have to because it's a Cyber Dragon deck, but it's kind of like the worst card going first. Just let's keep trucking here. Cyber Dragon Core. Cyber Dragon Core, you still have to play three of it. I've tried, you know, playing three, you still have to play three. You, you just, you have to, just trust me, you have to play three of it. It is your plus card, it searches out your cyber spells and, you know, keeps your deck going. Well, your cyber spells really, really, really come in handy, guys. Cyber Repair Plant in particular in this deck because you want to repair plants for that Galaxy Soldier like every game. Um, you want to um, emergency cyber for Hertz like every game. Um, if you guys play the deck, you will get the combos down. But on top of everything else, you know, you can banish Core from your grave. Yard special summon Cyber Dragon, and of course, it is your machine duplication target. Now, moving on to Cyber Dragon Hertz, guys. Only one Hertz because it's a once per turn effect. It is a hard once per turn, and I never use the effect to make it level five. Ever. I always use it for a search every single time. I might have used in this build right here in particular, I might have used it. Nope, nope, zero times to make it level five. So yeah, guys, it is treated as Cyber Dragon, so it is a machine duplication target. It is still a very good card, but it's mainly your search card. It's just another card you want to discard to get Cyber Dragon to your hand. And a lot of the times you want that Cyber Dragon in your hand just so you can shuffle it back into the deck off of Dread, like, so you can machine dupe for it. It happens more often than you would think. And then the last Cyber Dragon card in the main deck is Nashter. Nashter is really, really, really good at one. You wanna, um, you wanna see it at the end. You want it at the end after you've already made your Dread and all that stuff, obviously, because it limits you to special summoning machines after, and that's another reason why I'm not playing, you know, Orcus or anything else. I did mess around with Orcus. Uh, you guys, will, do I have replays with Orcus? Either way, guys, Nashter limits you, just like Orcus limit you. So I don't really play Orcus, because they limit you to summoning darks and uh, Nashter limits you to summoning machines and uh, which isn't a big deal after you already summoned your dread and you know all of that stuff after you've done all, all your all your digging and everything for your machine dupe whatever um, it's not a big deal to only summon machines for the rest of the turn because you are 
typically only summoning machines for the rest of that turn. So, um, that being said, Nashter at one, perfect card, and it is a one for one target and a machine dupe target. Next up, two Galaxy Soldier. Now, this is a change that was made in my absence, and I just love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, Cyber Dragons have more of a card pool and more useful cards available to them, and the format has changed enough to where Galaxy Soldier 2 is fine. Back in my day, you had to play three of it just because there wasn't a better card to play. <laughs> so, yeah. But yes, uh, two Galaxy Soldier, definitely, definitely perfect. That's something that people will come up with. Um, I didn't come up with that one. Uh, the two was just the perfect ratio. The people figured that one out. That, it really is the perfect ratio. Play two of it, guys. You, and you, you don't open up with two of it very often because you only play two, and it makes the deck just way better. Now, this is where it gets interesting and this is where it gets into my world okay so i added the symphonic warrior engine just a, just the symphonic warrior engine just uh, you don't want to draw mics that's your garnet but here's the thing um it gives you a discard outlet and if you read guitar guitar doesn't say discard a monster like something like you know uh quick draw synchron or something uh, or nashter no 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 it says discard a card so you can get rid of your dead sky striker cards and stuff with your guitar and summon a level five from the deck that lets you normal summon twice you don't really use that second normal summon in this deck very often you don't know? if you play it you'll find out uh, you, you do sometimes it does come in handy do not get me wrong but what I'm saying is for the most part you don't use that second normal summon in this deck uh, you use it as material to make dread you know to, to climb to your better boards or um, I don't know, use it for your rank 5 plays because it is a level 5 machine. It's a good card, guys. It's a good card. Um, I did, was playing Dangers. I know I have replays with Dangers. The Danger Engine is very, very good. I decided on this instead. Just through testing and stuff, you guys can change it if you want. Play whatever the hell you want. I don't care. I don't. Play whatever you want. But what I'm saying is this worked out better for me. And then maybe the best card in the deck. I'm not even playing. Like, it, it adds so much consistency to the deck. The Mally Engine. 3 Mally. Of course you don't want that Mally Curse Hand, the, the infamous Mally Curse Hand where you draw three malicious and you just cry and lose. Of course you don't want to open up with that, but opening up two is not too bad actually. I, I know I have replays where I've opened up a two and it's not bad. Uh, but what I'm saying here is it just keeps you coming. It's such a good card because you go into Dread and a lot of the times you don't see everything you want off of Dread and you have to climb to that second Dread. You don't need three Dread in this deck. If, you, if you're in a position where you need the third Dread in this deck, you already lost. Scoop up your cards and go game two. Not even playing. Like not even playing unless you just have like this insane hand that i haven't seen with this yet you only need two dread seriously only two but malicious just keeps you going guys let's just say you used a uh, mally for the first dread you know then you banish mally you know then you have another material for the next one and you already have school dread up that's two of the monsters you need for the next one you see like it really keeps the deck going um it gives you another monster that you want to discard um you know gives you definitely something that you want to discard off of guitar um gives you a really good foolish burial target malicious has been around in Yu-Gi-Oh for a very very long time guys and it is still a very good card do not underestimate it even in rogue random crap do not underestimate malicious because it's it's a card that keeps coming it's it's a spec it's a spec from deck do not underestimate that and then next up i play a little perform age package uh, just one trick and then uh, two of the uh, juggler um i don't play the tricker um the tricker is uh, it's hit and miss i was playing it i want to cut it the tricker is good. The thing is, I would rather see the Trickstar card that I put in here, the Mandrake. I would rather see that than the Tricker. And plus, you can search out Mandrake with, you know, Light Stage and stuff. It adds a little extra layer of consistency um, and toolboxness to the deck. So, yeah, um, I cut Hat Tricker. I haven't regretted it. Uh, just sometimes the extra juggler's dead, but you want Trick Clown anyways. Just just go with it. Seriously, guys, this is what I've been going with. If, you, if it makes you that uncomfortable, add the trigger back, by all means. Next up is Destrudo, because um, you do have, you know, uh, obviously level uh, six and was a level six and lower monsters on the board. You know, Mally, you got Cyber Dragon, you got all your stuff's level six and lower. You can summon this from the graveyard. Pretty self-explanatory. You never use it for being a tuner. I never have. I just used it, use it for link climbing. Uh, really comes in handy going first or second, uh, because, um, you know, you pay half your life points. You don't care where your life points are at. Um, I don't know, it's, it's an always, by that I meant it's always a live card, so like late game, early game, doesn't matter, it's always a really, really good card. Um, it's just another card you want in the graveyard, discard to link climb, that's, that's, that's really all it is, that's uh, all, I, all the explaining I really need to do with this card. Now next up is Glow Above, that gets a little extra explanation because yes, it is, you know, link material, uh, but it's a level one for one for one, so you can one for one for it, and of course one for one lets you discard a card, which is very good in this deck, you want, you know, you want to discard a Malicious, for example, uh, you want to discard Trick cl Clown, for example, build to that dread. Glow Above very very good card it helps you do that a little easier um, you know then you can dis of course discard it as well it's it just rounds out the deck I really like it as a one-for-one -one target um, I kept I cut it once or twice I, I couldn't keep it cut because it helps you 
Build a Dread a lot easier. It really does. And that milling a card, when you mill a card and you hit like a Mally or something, I cannot ex stress this enough. It's so good. And the last monster is Mandrake. So why this is Mandrake? Um, I was explaining earlier with Hat Tricker. Of course, you know, Hat Tricker is like an obvious choice because you're playing the two juggler. But it's, um, it's Tricker. It's good. It's not... Nice. Um, it's a good card guys do not get me wrong but like I found that Mandrake in this deck is better because it's a light that you can pitch off a galaxy soldier which is very important it's very important that it's a light because galaxy soldier can only pitch lights um, unlike glow up bulb Destrudo, Mally the kind of you have to rely on other cards to discard those you know more um, you have to rely on a certain link monster to discard those more often. But Mandrake, guys, works better with Galaxy Soldiers specifically. That's the point here, okay? And you can search it with Light Stage. So, so here's the thing, here's the thing. So if this was a Hat Tricker instead, you'd still have one card in deck. I mean, I guess you can make it an upstart or whatever, but just, I, I liked the Light Stage. It sucks, of course, if you see, I don't know, your your mics and your Mandrake and your Light Stage and like two Mally in one hand. Yeah, like obviously that bricks, but Pile Shuffle. The thing is, guys, Cyber Dragon bricks enough on its own with three Cyber Dragon. I don't care if I'm playing extra bricky cards. The deck is going to brick going first no matter what I feel like, and I'm not going to make an all-going second deck. So having a deck that can link climb and doesn't care if it goes first or second as long as i don't open up all three mally or all three cyber dragon i think that makes it a superior deck but that is my opinion though next up three emergency cyber every single time just about every single time you're searching core or hertz you're never searching cyber dragon off this thing like ever but um core hurts you know you're gonna search for one of those it's a very good card how to play the three um next up we have one rev system rev system very very good card um i it's perfect at one. I never want more than one, especially with Monster Reborn also being there and Monster Reborn being a better card because it gets anything from your graveyard um, and not just a Cyber Dragon. Um, although the Red System effect to summon from hand does come in handy. It, ha, come in handy! And then we got three Machine Duplication because like I was explaining earlier, best card in the deck, best card in Cyber Dragons because every time I've comboed, every time I've like really, really, really gone off with this deck, Machine Duplication was behind it every single time. And pretty much that inspired me, that, that is exactly actually what inspired me to make the deck this way, to reimagine the deck this way because I was like, how can I see Machine Dupe more often? What lets me see the most cards? Like, how can I see? And then you're like looking at draw cards, you're like desires, you're like, oh, no, this is gonna, well, yeah, draw cards are consistency, but like what other and then you're looking at engines and you're like uh, I laid it on Skull Dread because I'm like oh yeah Skull Dread because I get to see four cards that's freaking good so yeah Skull Dread is, is where I went plus uh, Skull Dread um, you know uh, just having being able to make Skull Dread means that you can make other big link monsters Boral Sword see Boral Sword going second Boral Sword is very very good my point here my point here is that being able to link climb with this deck makes it to where you can go first or second I said that earlier I know but it really really helps because Cyber Dragons need all the help they can get going first. I cannot stress this enough. Two Cyber Repair Plants, debatably the best one. Probably is the best one because it searches Galaxy Soldier and Galaxy Soldier gives you another name for Skull Dread, gives you another le light level five or like level five for, you know, your rank five plays. Galaxy Soldier is just insanely good, but it's only insanely good. And I would argue that the main reason why it's good is because it's searchable off a repair plant. Like it makes it so much more consistent to get this card, um, you know, to get Galaxy Soldier off. That's so good. And never forget Cyber Repair Plants ever ability to be able to recycle your deck. Cyber Repair Plant's a very good card. Now this next engine is very, very important in the deck. Might be the most important engine in the deck. Um, the Sky Striker engine. Because that gives you, when you when you resolve that quick play spell and you go Kagari and you activate the quick play again, that's two monsters for Dread right there. Right there. And you have a searchable card for the quick play. Plus when you activate that search card, when you already have spells in your graveyard, you get to draw a card. The engine's very good. Include this in your deck, guys. Include it, because going first, going second does not matter. You get to Link Climb. Link Climbing. Boral Sword. Skull Dread. Broken cards. And then for the one-off spells, of course, Foolish Burial, because you play, you know, Mally and other things that you want in the graveyard. A uh, one-for-one, -one because you have level one targets in the deck, like Nashter and Hertz and a uh, Glow-Up Bulb that you want to summon from the deck, of course, and you, it gives you another um, a discard outlet. It gives you another discard outlet. One-for-one's a fantastic card. And then uh, what other one-offs one do I have? Monster Reborn? Yeah, Monster Reborn, very, very good card, because, you know, you special summon anything from your graveyard. Helps you build to that Dread, of course, gives you another name. Because, um, you know, sometimes building um, to Dread with uh, a bunch of Cyber Dragon monsters and monsters that, whose names are treated as cyber dragon can be a little wonky so yeah having a monster born to be able to get anything back from your graveyard very very helpful and then the last card last card what was it light stage light stage just to be able to search uh, mandrake uh 
that's it. Like, like I said earlier, uh, Mandrake would have been Hat Trigger. Or, I mean, if you wanted to go with this other build right here that I'm going to show you guys right now, this is another thing I was experimenting around with, but only because you go into Zulkin more consistently. And Zulkin, of course, you goes into Crystal Wing. Very, very good. So what I'm saying here is like this spot, your Mandrake in your, in your light stage could be like a quick draw Synchron and a tuning, but uh, that's, that's why I built two different versions of the deck because I was like, okay, if I'm, if I'm trying to tech in quick draw in this deck, I'm trying to, it's like I never see Crystal Wing and I could, I never get to make Crystal Wing and like it, Quick Draw is good, but meh. And cutting Quick Draw, of course, also freed up room in the extra deck, like I was just saying. Blink Climbing, guys, I think is more important than cute Zulkin plays, in other words, even though I liked making a deck that went into Zulkin. It's freaking fun. All right, now for the extra deck for um, going second, and of course for clapping back, if your board gets broken, you gotta have that Mega Fleet because it's so good. And then you play Fortress Dragon, guys. Fortress Dragon's very good against Orcus, very good against um, uh, Sky Strikers, which we do play in this deck, you know, because uh, Gagari's a machine, you know, the Sky Striker extra deck monsters are machines. So um, having a Fortress Dragon is too good to cut. Like, you can cut it for. I don't know, an extra Link monster, like a, I don't know, Nightmare Phoenix, uh, whatever. But I liked having the Fortress here. It just makes sense. I mean, you do have like a one card. You have one card's worth of room in the extra deck, so you can make it whatever you want. I just chose Fortress because with the given metagame, it makes the most sense to have Fortress there. Then I have the Cyber Dragon package, of course, the two Nova, the two Infinity. Um, you could also cut Infinity to one if you wanted to, because a lot of games and most games, you never make more than one. But if you're missing that second one, though, you cry, trust me. So like two and two has always been the best ratio. Nova is just one of my favorite extra deck monsters of all time. I love being able to detach, summon a cyber, cyber dragon, go into another rank 5. I love that. I lo always loved that. So much fun. Then we got Dorindle, guys. Dorindle um, works really well with your Symphonic Warrior engine because you can make your opponent's effect pop your, you know, pendulum scale that you don't care about. So very, very good. But Dorindle is mainly there for consistency. That's that's really what it's there for. You get to shuffle back your hand, draw some more cards. It just makes the deck brick less. Let's just say you do draw that Mally Curse hand, but somehow, or half a Mally Curse hand or whatever and you can make this to shuffle it back look you'd just rather have this in the extra deck than not have it in the extra deck trust me and then you play two dread uh, once again if you guys feel the need for a third dread and you don't change this and make it better than mine just scoop <laughs> just scoop because um the, the need for the third dread, I noticed if I needed the third dread, like, it's, you don't have enough cards in your hand after that for the third dread. Like, I, I can't explain it. Like, just the best way I could explain it is what I already said. Unless you guys change this and make it better to where the third dread is actually good, then add it. Other than that, two is perfect, guys. This is not a three dread deck. I feel like most decks that play more than one dread end up being three dread decks, but this is not one of those decks. This is solid two. It's it's weird. Next up, Cyber Dragon Seeger. Um, you know, just takes two machines, lets you get over problems. It's really good with infinity, keeps your infinity alive. Nothing really more to say about it. It's a great card. Boral Sword is your other big link monster besides Skull Dread. Boral Sword is your going a second link monster. Um, Skull Dread is like you're going first, you know, link monster, or like, you know, Fixing bad hands, Link Monster. He's like, Skull Dread, Skull Dread. Okay, Skull Dread is Skull Dread. Let's just treat him separately, okay? Boral Sword gets over problems and it can attack twice and stuff. Boral Sword's an insanely good card. I need to get me one. Cleaf Genius, I actually think you could probably. No, you can't cut it. You can't. Like. Uh, it's, it's rough like you could cut a Klee Ford genius, but it's really rough because there's a lot of times You have like two cyber dragons and you want like another name, you know for a skull dread So you can't really cut it. Yeah, but the one I'm saying here is genius. I actually make the least Yeah, I make the least uh, in this deck, but still very good card still have to have it because um, You know of getting rid of your two cyber dragons to make another name for dread You kind of have to have it because of that so you can't really cut it but mm, you can at the same time. I don't know, guys. Just just genius. It's, it's a good card, okay? It's a good card. Now, this next card, Barricade Board Blocker, right? Barricade Board... Yeah, Barricade Board Blocker. This guy is probably the best card in the deck. I am not messing with you. It's like... It's the, here's the thing. It replaces Mermaid, okay? Mermaid is your link monster that lets you discard a card and special summon from deck. This doesn't let you special summon from deck, but... It does let you discard a card. And if you do have your light stage in the graveyard at the end phase, you will get that light stage back. I mean, just random. You only play the one field spell in this deck. But 
it still it still has like that, that extra little bit of a uh, um, you know uh, what, what, what's the word synergy synergy it has that one little extra bit of synergy in the deck so that makes it uh, a really good card but you're mainly after that discard effect to discard that malicious discard the, the trick clown discard anything mainly malicious though you want to get just any two monsters you don't care maybe you just opened up I don't know like your your uh, drones or one Hornet drones or whatever and you go into that discard Mally you go um, yeah it's not it's just it's just a discard card it's it's probably the best in the extra deck I'm not gonna lie it really helps it helps so much now going second I put in a Cerberus now this could be Phoenix because this doesn't really have spell trap destruction so this could be Phoenix so Cerberus gives you something to be able to discard like you know barricade board blocker but going second and also gets you you know gets you over something it's just really good but um, plus you know this deck isn't as good at going second as the regular cyber dragon deck because it's not 100% committed to it so yeah having uh, an extra extra deck monster to be able to go second with very very good and the last monster in the extra deck is just the Kagari for your um, your Sky Striker plays because it gets your spell back and you link climb with it like I've explained like I feel like the word or the phrase for this video is link climb and then not cyber dragon weirdly enough but seriously guys uh being able to go on a Boral Sword I do not underestimate it being able to make dread on your first turn and make a bad hand good be able to make a good hand broken or whatever. Do not underestimate that. Now for the side deck, I got three evenly matches because <laughs> it's, I really couldn't think of a slot here. Like evenly matched is honestly the last card I put in. And that's just because it's a good guard and like there are a lot better decks than this one. This isn't tier one by any means. It's about as good as I can think of to make it is all. <laughs> that's it. Twin Twisters though, guys. Twin Twisters, mwah, so good, so good. Gives you a discard outlet and it's coming in ulti soon, which is cool. But um, yeah, it gives you a discard outlet. Good against back row decks. And then next up, I cited the Gammas. Uh, you could side Omega too if you wanted to, or you know what? That's that's what you could do. You could cut a card in the extra and put the Omega in the extra deck. Yeah, you could do that. Um, but what I found with Gamma when I did side it in, I, Gamma is a side deck card. Seriously, um, set in stone for this deck. But what I'm saying is, uh, usually when I when I uh, saw Gamma and summoned the driver, I used that the link line though. I didn't I didn't ever um, go into Omega really. I used them for a uh, link material, and I usually uh, used the Gamma on my turn, not during my opponent's turn, so uh, so I could you know use the, those materials. So yeah, um, yeah, like I said though, you could put the Omega in. It wouldn't. Yeah, you could you could you could do it either side or, or in the extra deck. You can do it. And then next up, Artifact Lancia. Artifact Lancia is a level five light, so it has a lot of synergy in the deck, you know, being a level five, you know, and this deck makes rake fives, you know, makes sense. But uh, this has a lot of synergy just in the format because it keeps your opponent from being able to banish stuff. So Orcus, all that stuff, say bye, nope, nope, can't, can't compete. You cannot play Yu-Gi-Oh against Lancia. Artifact Lancia, guys, has been a side deck, a staple side deck card in Cyber Dragons for a very long time. It seriously has a lot of synergy in the deck. And these next two cards, I'm actually pretty set in stone about. The Electromagnetic Turtle, eh, not so much, but it gives Gives you something else to discard that keeps you alive. It's like your best light monster to discard, really. There needs to be more light monsters that special summon themselves, besides like Mandrake and stuff. There needs to be more. Electromagnetic Turtle is a side deckable card because it keeps you alive and because it has synergy in the deck. Being a light, being a machine, um, you know, all that stuff. You want it in the graveyard. It just works with the deck very well. But I'm the most serious about Mirror Conductor because it's searchable off of that, um, uh, not uh, damage struggler, searchable off of damage struggler. And it gets over problems. Read, uh, read that card. Read Mirror Conductor, guys. It's such a good side deck card because it swaps the attack and defense of something on the field. It's pendulum scale, and it swaps the attack and defense of something, so you get to get over something. I, I played this back in Magician format, guys. Like me and this card go back this long, and me and the you know the Perform Age Engine, well, a lot of players in the Perform Age Engine go back a long time. But my point here is that I kind of took that past knowledge and integrated it into this deck. I was thinking about Magician format and stuff, and I was like, man, what can I side? deck here. What are, what are, you know what? I'm tired of looking at spells and traps. What are some monsters I can side deck here? And of course I came up with Electromagnetic Turtle first off, but I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm playing Damage Juggler. I can search Mirror Conductor. Like, Mirror Conductor, guys, really good. And if you look at Mirror Conductor, it's a scale three. It's a scale three to go with your high scale guitar so you can Pendulum Summon. It has a lot of synergy in the deck. You can even arguably main deck the Mirror Conductor? I wouldn't, but you could. What I'm saying is I side deck it. It's a very good side deck card because 
It's a one-off card, so it doesn't hurt the consistency of the deck that much, and it does give you a, a searchable monster to be able to get over problems that doesn't burn your normal summon. So that's just my theory behind Mirror Conductor, guys. Change this deck however you want, though. Seriously, change this deck however you want. I just wanted to come up with something that would blow all my fans' minds, you know, coming back and playing Cyber Dragons again. Uh, I couldn't just come back and, you know, slap together a Cyber Dragon deck, you know, like I said earlier. I had to come up with something crazy, so I sat down, I stared at the cards, I played and played and played, and I came up with this total monstrosity. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the replays, everything that I've shown with this deck. I would love to hear anything that you guys have come up with to improve it down in the comment section um, that I haven't already discussed. Um, be sure to listen to the video, guys. Um, you know, you guys, a lot of people would be like, where's the Omega, where's this? Well, if you would listen, you know, explain and answer all your questions for you, God, people. But yeah, guys, play this deck however you want. Change the ratios to whatever you want to change them to. I don't care, just have a lot of fun playing it. Have fun playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm out. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's everything you wanted to be. I hope that it was crazy enough for you. Mm. <laughs>